And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky gangplank. It's going to be our next deck. Got a donation deck here to play some uh, Thresh with Gangplank. We're going to be using a lot of powder kegs and a lot of removal where the powder kegs uh, help us out quite a bit. Um, so, you know, like we have um, things to make powder kegs. We have, you know, like our Dreadway deckhands, our Petty Officers. This is a new card now being a 3-2 instead of a 3-1. That's a, a pretty big boost. And that will help our cards like Parlay, Vile Feast, Make It Rain, and especially like Withering Whale. Withering Whale gets really good uh, with some uh, powder kegs. And so that's what we kind of have. We have like a control deck here with that kind of stuff. You know, like our, our Thresh just being out, being a control champion with the Challenger. Eventually our top end, we have we have like Rekindlers to bring back our champs. Or we also have this Dreadway. They can even get some more damage in. It draws us a Gangplank. Um, you know, Gangplank control. I'm calling it Spooky Gangplank. So here we go, let's go play five games over in ranked like we always do. And let's play some spooky game plank. Yeah, that's a good point. Um for leveling Thresh, you know, like we have like our hapless aristocrats, our powder kegs, like whenever our powder kegs die, those help level up Thresh. The monkey idol, or the um the monkey idols. Look a little weird in a control deck, but they just help both of our champions. Whether it's Powder Monkeys dying to level up Thresh, or the Powder Monkeys dying to do one damage to level up Gangplank. So they just kind of kind of help uh, be there and level up champions. Alright, we definitely mulligan these two cards. We'll keep the other two. Uh, this is uh, another control deck, so we want to try to find our more aggressive cards. Don't need our little removal spells like Vile Feast and Withering Whale. Out there. No two drop, unfortunately. Let's see. I'm probably playing. Yeah, we're gonna play Petty Officer on three. Since we have the attack token, if we didn't have the attack token, we'd play Monkey Idol. But we do have the attack token, so I'm gonna go Petty Officer. I'm gonna grab a one drop. Um, man, those Avros and Sentries are good. I don't really like just trading those when we have, like, Withering Whale. Yeah, playing Monkey Idol on the defensive turn is going to be the better thing to do. So that then we get two powder monkeys attacking. Pretty jealous though, the, the double Avro Sentry Chronicler rune, that's Pretty good hand, I'm jealous. What the strongest spooky deck, I think, is maybe my opponent playing Endure? No. No, they're gonna be like War Mothers with all that stuff. Um, at least the petty officer doesn't die anymore. I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna risk Thresh dying. Actually, if they have Sentry Block Petty Officer, then that gives Thresh 4 out of 6. 
And then next turn, Monkey Idol dies, and our Powder Monkey will die, so that will be 5 and 6 out of 6. I don't want them to be able to use just, like, aggressively Undying to kill Thresh. So if they want to kill Thresh, they got to use a Big Boy Removal spell. You know, use a Vengeance, Ruination, that kind of thing. Okay, so it levels up even before the Powder Monkey dies. I thought it was going to take Powder Monkey. Shade. Went out to, uh, with friends to eat outside for the first time in a long time. How'd it go? Alright, bringing Gangplank along. Uh, I have no idea who Loco is just donated to me from a viewer. I don't know if this was somebody else's deck. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the strongest spooky deck, I'm sorry, that was a question that was asked before. I'm not sure, I probably prefer, honestly, probably prefer Ash, to be honest. Um, I know it says, like, we didn't do very good with the Ash deck earlier, but our, our deck was, like, six cards off. We had, we had two, three ofs that were not good, that shouldn't have been in there. Um, but that's probably, that's probably kind of where I... Prefer, let's see. All right, we're just gonna salvage. I don't think I want to vengeance that. where are you? Yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably, we'll try some Gauntlet tomorrow. Because, yeah, the Gauntlet just started. We'll try some Gauntlet tomorrow. Yeah, we played six games with the Ash deck, because I just played the five. We went one and four, and then I made some changes, you know, made made some changes to it, added it. Like, basically, we weren't playing removal, and that was really problematic. Uh, put in some removal, um, and then I, w I just wanted to play an, an extra game with, after we changed it up, and then it, it looked a lot better, and we won that, that, other, that other one. A little surprised they don't challenge the powder keg. But I guess they wanted to kill that thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I play this, we'd have nine, which is good. We can still draw our card for turn. I'm not I don't want to play anything else out because of ruination. I think that they're trying to attack and have me play something and then they want a ruination. Avalanche. Well, now I can't play Rekindler, but I can still play Gangplank. So if they if they do kill some of these champions, I can still play a Gangplank. Yeah, I got five mana still, so like, you know, these parlays, these are gangplanks. And if they just want to pass the turn back to me, I'm cool with that too. Forks. Oh, <laughs> wrong email, but that's all good. Um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna play this. Now they kill Gangplank, I can't go grab another one, but we do want a Gangplank in the deck. And I know that doesn't level up this one. Ah. Uh. 
What will you have? No free blockers. You'll fight or you'll swim. Round them up. Just can't play anything like you just can't play stuff pre-combat in this matchup because of uh because of ruination so like you can't even you're saying like i could wait and play the parlay pre-combat to level up gangplank before attacking it's just just can't play anything pre-combat because of ruination wow Wow, that gets rid of Rekindler too, and Dreadway. Wow. That's a card. That is a card right there. Oh anyway, four oh yeah yeah, that's third sub over the go of the day over here. Try to sub Sejuani for Braum and Sejuani Swain burn deck. No, I haven't I haven't played Sejuani Swain in a long in a while. Well, they know about this Gangplank. I'm not really fooling them. You know, I'm not really, like, hiding the Gangplank by playing anything else. They know about that because that's the dread way through that. No, playing Withering Whale doesn't save. Turn to Mirror turns into the 9 9, and the 9 9 would still be in combat and kill uh, the Gangplank. But anyway, yes, I think you can make a Brom, Brom Swain deck. For sure, I think Brom Swain uh, works works well together. Yeah, now here comes all their champions. Their deck goes bigger than ours, and that's kind of a problem. We're both slow decks trying to be the the big one. Their their deck just goes bigger than ours. Ready the torches. Yeah, it's an easy mistake to make with with the Trindomir. Definitely made that one. You know, basically know that because of making that mistake before as well. Oh my gosh. Snow, whales. Wind, ice. Useless. <gasps> hey John. Oh. 
yeah, I really like it in this game, Legends of Runeterra. It's a good one. Alright, Catalyst. Fortunately, we have no cards with any text in them, so... Those cards don't, I mean, all those cards say is gain three life. That's all our cards say is gain three life. Should have just casted one of those before previously. We have Ruination, right? So I never, I never update the deckless command. We have Ruination in here, right? No Ruination. Why? Why is nobody putting Ruination in their deck? supposed to be the go big deck and their deck went a lot bigger hmm oh come on same matchup really that game was looking good for us until that she who wanders was a killer. I myself would never play the... I mean, just... I mean, I talked about the same thing with the Ash Harrowing deck. I would I would never play a Shadow Isles uh, deck like this without Ruination. Especially right now with, like, the popularity of Braum and just some bigger, bigger decks. It, it's not like Ruination would have saved us that game. You know, like, we were, we were probably... Still lost. They had tons of cards in hand. So I'm not saying the way we lost because we didn't have ruination. I'm just saying that I would never play a deck like this without ruination. Okay, good good time for Monkey Idol. And they didn't play Catalyst of Aeon, so that's good. Good time to be drawing the Glimpse Beyonds as well. I must get out of here. No, I like those cards. Those cards are better than the ones we drew. Yeah, it's a tough... These Anivia decks are definitely a tough matchup. They... They dodge the whole... The whole point of our deck is, like, you know, have, like, these powder kegs be able to do a little bit more damage and, and uh, you know, have these different control elements, and they just completely dodge those... Uh, those aspects, and... Or makes it this a difficult matchup for us. <laughs> 
like <clears throat> it does a good job of nullifying a lot of our cards. Like all these withering whales, vile feasts, parlays. They just don't matter. My only play is Vengeance, Hearthcarp. That's not even a play I want to make because we need Vengeance to later. And I suppose I can play Dreadway Deckhand, I suppose. Don't do anything. The War Mother will unite us all! I'm sorry I'm being a De Debbie Downer. We're just, we just, this is just the worst theoretical deck for us to get paired against. It's just, <laughs> that's a mess. We get use, good use out of a uh, glimpse beyond. That's good. I like that make it rain. Gangplank's at three out of five. Dad blocker here, but oh well. Okay. That worked out just fine. And maybe I should have started with Parlay instead of Vile Feast, so if, the, if they had Glimpse Beyond, then I could have responded with Vile Feast. Now I'm walking into ruination, but for like attack for four isn't really pressuring them that much. And then they cast, you know, like Trindamir and Nivea, like that kind of stuff. And then a storm approaches. still attacking for four, but I like getting this whole thing in first. Nivea's gone, but their catalyst, they they are enlightened now. So Nivea is gone. Return to us. We are gonna try to attack for a lot. Lethal.
I think I think our other rekindler um, was tossed before, I believe. Yes, I could I could have glimpsed beyond to keep them from gaining three life, which was kind of my plan. But again, they they let damage happen, and I didn't want to mess that up. Letting damage happen, that is. Um. Yeah, we're playing against a lot of War Mothers. My blade calls. All right, gotta do four damage to them. If you do four damage to them with like. Dreadway, make a rain parlay. It's kind of the plan. Such naivete. Also, putting a gangplank into play can help with that. Well, we can certainly assume that they have an atrocity. Of course, my plan was to play Agniv or was to kill this Agnivia, but how they did the whole good GG thing. Now I don't really want to play something because then they'll play something else in response, kind of thing. We're still just going to be able to do this. Ugh. Still gonna be able to do this atrocity whenever they want. I just sure hope we get paired against something else next game. Wow. Wow. Um. Yeah, wow. Can't quite kill that Trindomir, but that's okay. Hey, Rex. Uh, now they're saying it's GG. So yeah, now they're going to use their atrocity.
like one less life. Something ancient. Ten mana. should have. Yeah, I, I should have played that pre-combat. Yeah, that that may have cost me this. Atrocity. Ah, those things are fearsome. Good sign. Hey, Arnelium. Welcome back. That's a good sign. There's their atrocity. <clears throat> so this only puts me up to 13, which still kills me. Uh, because of the Glacial Storm. Well, Glacial Storm would kill both of us at the same time. It would kill... I mean, I guess it would... Kill them afterwards. I mean, it, it, I guess it's just better to play two Withering Whales than than play a Salvage. Well, this says that they die and and I die. So who who actually wins? Okay, it looks like they win. What? I still lose? How do I lose? How do I lose with this? Shouldn't they lose with this? I don't know. We're doing it. Shouldn't, shouldn't they lose? They should lose here. No! Gain three. Oh, that's going to keep them alive. It doesn't matter that my that the kegs die, because like this was going to do one damage, and the Powder Monkey was going to do one damage, because the Glacial Storm kills the Powder Monkey. So that would still be before combat damage. So, like, we would have dealt... See, like, we would have dealt two damage there before combat. Um, but they, they gained three life with the, you know, that last card they had, they gained three life, that kept them alive. Doesn't matter that the, the Mega Rain wasn't buffed. That doesn't matter at all.
Yeah, I made it pretty close. I think I think the, the thing that probably cost me there was not playing Gangplank pre-combat. I think I needed to do that to try to get the attack trigger in. I, I should have done that. That's... That, that, yeah, that's just like the, the more obvious play too. That's a, I was trying to be sneaky. They didn't, didn't tap out. I think I could have had that if I would have played that pre-combat. Oh, come on. I am not playing this again. I am not playing this match again. You've got to be kidding me. We're going to the next one. Oh, this is better. I guess. The whole point of our deck is to play against cheap units and be really good against decks with cheap units, and all we're doing is just these big late game decks. That's all we're getting paired against. We keep both salvages. I don't even do anything. Half was aristocrat. Just get out of here. Uh, I guess you level up Gangplank. Never mind. You do something. You, you level up Gangplank. You just lost because your Riptide Rex hit Tiana seven times instead of targeting the other, the only other six-one elusive. Wow, that is really unlucky. That is really unlucky. You have two targets, you have to kill the 6-1, and kill targets Tiana seven times. Dude, it's all good, Scrublord. You don't ha never have to apologize for not commenting much. supposed to be doing. I'm sure this deck can look a lot better in, in different matchups, but these have not been the enjoyable matchups to play against. Rammy. Yeah, that sounds good, Targrek. We do, we'll do a gauntlet. We'll do on gauntlet. After, after, yeah, so, yeah, because we hit the bonus yesterday for our bonus sub goal. Yesterday, which, did we just hit the one for today? Was that four or was that five? I don't know. Uh, did I just update that to say four out of five? Play a gauntlet after this. Um, if you said, if you said no, I didn't update it, then I'd play longer tomorrow. Cause we're, I have yesterday's bonus time to do today because I had to go early yesterday. So if we hit our sub goal today, we're going to be doing bonus time tomorrow. Okay, yeah. Splinter. 
Big Alfredo getting the sub. Thank you, Pine Peace. Santa Pine Peace. All right, so we're gonna have extra stream tomorrow as well. Do I look like a patient man? I thought I said attack already. Sorry, opponent. Playing slow. Oh, my corpse is of a ball. We can get a lot of powder kegs. But this looks pretty sweet. That was some super fast Thresh leveling up. We played Thresh last turn, and whenever we attack with Thresh for the very first time, it's already leveled up. Um, kind of need to do, do damage to our opponent this turn. close to you, you're about to... Alright, let's go... Wait. Okay, so wait. So Monkey Idol takes up two spots. Um, so that means I have four spots left. Or sorry, I'd have two spots left. So I could go Petty Officer Powder Keg or One Drop. Let's go One Drop. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're doing... Petty Officer, one drop. Yeah, so like if I would have blocked here, they would have just turned this Devourer Adept into a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's what they wanted to do. They wanted me to block and do that. Hopefully they did. No, we couldn't kill our own monkey before combat, so yeah, we didn't, didn't need the powder keg. Hmm. They staying alive. Ow. Your king has returned. So they're still alive at one. We're gonna have another powder monkey next turn. Gotta gain life or obliterate Powder Monkey. Uh, we're not drawing any help in hand. Yeah, we were one off from, yeah, Withering Whale didn't quite kill them. The fish was just a little bit too big. Okay, Powder Monkey. There you go. Good job, Powder Monkey. That's our using our Powder Monkey pet. For now. That was a pretty awesome turn five, turn six, especially turn six. But like, you know, Thresh on turn five, all those things dying, leveling up the, the Thresh super fast, and then um, turn six play Gangplank, attack with both. Uh, Thresh put in another gangplank. Man, can't we face an aggro deck? Please just face an aggro deck. Triple R is in the parlay, which means we draw triple parlays. Parlay. 
can't roll my R's. I'm not that talented. Where are you? I'm just gonna get um Yeah, let's just get one drop. I could I could wait. The the problem is if I pass, they could just pass back. Like they they don't need to attack. They're not really incentivized to attack to be honest. I don't really want them just to pass back. Yes. This is this is the best one drop to get. The actual best one drop to get. I'm just going to go ahead and take out this 3-1 lifesteal. And just get it out of here. question is lone drifter gauntlet only two trials i don't know very much about the gauntlet i don't yeah maybe somebody in chat can answer whatever that means do you can you only do two gauntlets and that's it is there a cap of two I, <clears throat> it hasn't been open, so yeah, we'll, we'll go look at it after this. Again, let's start with Thresh. Doesn't seem like anybody's saying anything in chat. If gauntlets are just two trials or not, I, I have no idea. Okay, no, it, it's unlimited trials, okay. Cool. Mm. All right, going to attack challenge here so my parlay can kill Maokai. And then probably playing Gangplank. Didn't really want to play Gangplank first. Uh, before attackers. Because they get the ephemeral. But maybe I should have. Definitely need to vengeance Nautilus next turn. Boo.
<laughs> no. That's the worst one to get. No Nautilus. That's good. Oh, still gotta kill that thing. Yeah, that's true. We had a, we got the best one drop earlier, so it should be balanced if we get the worst one drop. There, that makes sense. Gotta balance it. It's gonna be really difficult to take down these 7-7s seven and 10-8s and all that kind of stuff with Foul Feast and Make It Rains. Thresh was obliterated. Oh, that's my bad. my bad. have to have a Nautilus by now, right? Can't really stop them. The ocean herself will fear us. My thinking here was play this, draw it into... Oh, that would have been nice to have. Draw into Withering Whale. Withering a whale, some withering whale away some things. Well, we get five, five free cards. Hopefully they're three Poro snacks. <laughs> what? What are you doing? A rekindler? I guess they thought they got the summon trigger. They should definitely be choosing the Abyssal Eye. The Abyssal Eye is the best thing. Swiftfoot? And they didn't even play Mina Swiftfoot? They played this instead? Obviously none of this matters. Like, we're dead. Like, so. I mean, it could matter, I guess, if we had, you know, we had fast removal for these. You know, if we had double Withering Whale. 
A withering Whale plus Vile Feast. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter to give us back your Kindler when you're attacking. Alright, please, 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 please don't play against another Shadow Isles control deck. For, I mean, if we're playing against another Shadow Isles control deck, I'm just conceding and doing another game. Please just get paired against something else. We've just gotten paired against Shadow Isles control five times. We're five for five. Alright. Great. Six for six. Shadow Isles control. This is unreal. Four mothers, four times, deep, twice. Unreal. I'm just gonna... <laughs> lose back our LP, but that's all good. Alright, something's not Shadow Isles. I'm not sure how good our little damage stuff will be against Lee Sin and Shen. I don't know what kind of like small units they may be playing. Probably not many. I don't know. I think they'd have some to be able to pair with Shen, but basically, if you can have if you can have a leveled up Shen. Then leveled up Shen can you know, give your ally with barrier plus three, and so, like, that can be pretty awesome with Lee Sin, getting the plus three, you know, like, with the challenge and having the whole Dragon's Rage thing. So, like, that part seems to fit. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing with P and Z with that part. Um... Chump Wump is, like, the thing that you know, probably, you know, like, obviously, like, PNZ removal, Chump Womp, I believe. Yeah, yeah, Noxus would have all the, the combo potentials with that. But yeah, with PNC. Basically, Chump Womp gets, like, those Mushroom Clouds are really valuable for Lee Sin. Where are you? We're gonna go Vile Feast because we've already dealt damage to them. So... Keep the parlay to maybe help level up Gangplank in, in another turn. This also just puts more bodies in play for us, which is good for Thrash. Down to 10. Got a good chunk of life total there. Six damage. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Ooh, I wish I could play this card.
All right, down to ten. That's a good one. Two worlds, one balance. Silly worst case is deny. Maybe I should see if they play like another spell first. Um, and then wouldn't have the mana for deny. Already three barriers for Shen. support life steal this is just this is five out of six I kind of wish I could have one other thing die yeah no matchups have been ideal um, basically like the the other shadow Isles control decks My father's blade. Um, has been maintained. you know they do go bigger than us so that's that's kind of rough but it does seem like our deck is probably, you know, pretty good against aggro. We've got lots of lots and lots of good stuff against aggro. So like if you if you're at like an elo where there's a lot of people playing aggro decks, this seems like a really good deck to be playing. We just had we had horrible matchups. Oh yeah, we can target our own things. We're not able to target our own things very often. Everyone pays. And that still does one damage to them? Yeah, one damage to the enemy Nexus. Sweet. That was a pretty cool little play. This will do for now. Yeah, this this does look like a really, really good anti aggro deck. If you're playing against a lot of aggro, a lot of like burn, um, and that kind of stuff. You got your your gain life with your vile feast, your withering whales, which are awesome at that point. And you're, and you can even like go kind of wide, and you know, like have your petty officer make two blockers. Um, like petty officer is definitely pretty good against aggro, being a three-two trades with like everything, and then also getting a one drop for the price of one card. You have three parlays for one mana removal, and then yeah, make it rain, vile feast. Like this looks awesome against aggro. It's just against war mothers and Nivia control that's not playing anything that you know. All these cards parlay, make it rain, vile feast, withering whale. It, those cards are just pretty poor in, in that matchup, and we just kept on getting paired against that matchup, unfortunately. 
But yeah, you, if you're playing an ELO where there's lots of aggro, this looks like a great anti-aggro deck. It really does. Um, yeah, and just Thresh and Gangplank are huge against aggro. Looks pretty awesome there. Um, you've, yeah, Withering Whale with four kegs. You've done that before? Yeah, that's... Yeah, wither like the more the more kegs you get, like wither whale just is gets just silly with more kegs. I I wish we could have played against some of those matches. You know, you don't get to you don't get to choose what you play against. Um, and so yeah, sorry, I was kind of a downer about the other matchups that we did play. But you don't. I mean, Anivia is not Anivia is not that popular of a deck. Us getting paired against Anivia four times. Ugh. But anyway, there we go. That's Spooky Gangplank. Those of y'all watching this video later on on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. If you've been playing a deck like this, let me know how good is it against aggro. I bet it's awesome against aggro. And if you try it out, if you are playing against ton of aggro, and so therefore you try it out, let me know how it's going over there on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's some Spooky Gangplank, and I'll see you for the next video.